Purposely. Your life, God's purpose. Listen at Purposely.com. It's been really wonderful going through God's medicine cabinet with you this week on the Bible for Busy People. I'm Erica, your host, and it turns out there are so many prescriptions for the things that ail us in life that I think next week we're going to explore some more. What do you say? Because there are so many things we deal with as humans, but in the Word of God, we find remedies. We find comfort for everything that comes our way. And you know what else? The thing about God's prescriptions that I really love, they never expire. His promises have an eternal shelf life. I just got the good goosebumps. Okay, I want to invite you today to join me in Psalm 103. I couldn't think of a better psalm to wrap up our week with. So we're going to dive right in. I want to note that this is the message version of the Bible. Oh, my soul, bless God from head to toe. I'll bless his holy name. Oh, my soul, bless God. Don't forget a single blessing. I just want to pitch a small tent right here and ask you to think about a blessing that maybe you have forgotten to count. Maybe you've been going through a tough time. And so often those things, those problems can put blinders on our eyes and we miss blessings. So I want to just pause for a hot second here and invite you to comb back over the week and see if you can find a blessing that you missed. <sighs> just feels good to think about blessings, right? Okay, verse three now. He forgives your sins, every one. Did you hear that? Every one. He heals your diseases, every one. He redeems you from hell, saves your life. Wow. He crowns you with love and mercy, a paradise crown. He wraps you in goodness, beauty, eternal. I'm picturing myself wrapped in my favorite Snoopy blanket right now. I know you've got a favorite blanket too. Think about it. He wraps you in his goodness. I just love thinking about that. You're warm and safe in his goodness. Oh, okay. He renews your youth. You're always young in his presence. Yes. God is a God of restoration and renewal. He can give you new strength when you feel weak physically, when you feel burnt out mentally. Think about a child, right? Think about how much energy and joy they have. Right now we're reading, you and I are young in his presence. Right now, because you and I are together in Jesus' name, he is in our midst. That's what the Bible says. We are gathered around his word, honoring him and we are young in his presence. Let that thought energize you right now. Verse six, God makes everything come out right. He puts victims back on their feet. He showed Moses how he went about his work, opened up his plans to all Israel. God is sheer mercy and grace, not easily angered. He's rich in love. He doesn't endlessly nag and scold, nor hold grudges forever. Maybe you grew up thinking that God was always wagging his finger at you and trying to catch you when you were doing something wrong. God doesn't endlessly nag and scold. He loves you. Greg Laurie, one of my favorite pastors, likes to say, he can't take his eyes off you because he loves you so much. He's not waiting for you to mess up. It's why he sent his son, Jesus to die for your sins and your mistakes and mine. And it's why Jesus rose again, defeating all the bad stuff in our lives. And all we have to do is reach out and say, yes, I received the free gift of salvation, of being saved, as we were reading earlier, and eternal life and peace now. That's what it's all about. He's not constantly scolding you. He is constantly loving you. Back to Psalm 103. He doesn't treat us as our sins deserve, nor pay us back in full for our wrongs. As high as heaven is over the earth, so strong is his love to those who fear him. And as far as sunrise is from sunset, he has separated us 
from our sins. As parents feel for their children, God feels for those who fear Him. He knows us inside and out, keeps in mind that we're made of mud. Men and women don't live very long. Like wildflowers, they spring up and blossom, but a storm snuffs them out just as quickly, leaving nothing to show they were here. God's love, though, is ever and always eternally present to all who fear Him, making everything right for them and their children as they follow His covenant ways and remember to do whatever He said. What a blessing that you and I are studying how to follow His covenant ways. And if you want to look something up this weekend that will really encourage you, try Phil Wickham's new song, The Jesus Way. If Jesus were to give a TED Talk, it would be this song. It's so good. Verse 19, now, God has set His throne in heaven. He rules over us all. He's the King. So bless God, you angels, ready and able to fly at His bidding, quick to hear and do what He says. Bless God, all you armies of angels, alert to respond to whatever He wills. Bless God, all creatures, wherever you are, everything and everyone made by God. And you, oh my soul, bless God. Thank you, Jesus. What a beautiful psalm, right? Maybe you needed that reminder to bless God. Lord, we bless you. You're always blessing us. We take this moment in time to bless you. Thank you for your presence that makes us young again. And thank you for all of the prescriptions in your word, all the promises. You are so good to us. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, until next time, when you and I explore God's prescription for feeling overwhelmed, you are really loved. Thank you for making time for the Bible for Busy People today. If being part of this community is a blessing to you, it's super easy to share this podcast with someone you love. We're all about spreading the hope of Jesus like butter. So if you've got a moment to write a review, boy, we'd really appreciate that. Maybe you need a little prayer today or you're ready to take that next step with God. I invite you to check out our show notes. You're going to find lots of encouragement there. This podcast is one branch on a tree called Purposely, a podcast network designed with practical podcasts to help you find and thrive in God's purpose for your life. If you've got a pulse, you've got a purpose.